Well, most cash poisoning attacks involve having a hacker inject bogus data into the cache of uh, a recursive name server, hopefully uh, for his sake, a popular recursive name server. They might, for example, remap the IP address of a popular bank's website, um, say the Bank of America's website, to a bogus IP address. And users who are redirected to that IP address um, see the content that a hacker presents, which may be visually indistinguishable from the real bank's website. It's very, very easy to, to create what is, in effect, a clone of the real website. And uh, once the user goes there, he might try to enter his username and his password, other account information, and that information can be captured and then reused later by the hacker.